When do you remember music entering into your life then? Like obviously older, br cause cause older brothers. It was through our kid probably. Because yeah. I never liked music. I used to f hate it. I used to think anyone with a guitar or music, anyone listening to records is a weirdo. And I thought, I'm not having all that. So I went into, I was into football and just yeah. running around people's back gardens and just being a little And then he started bringing on records and then that's it. I just got into it. Then I started singing. Then I started doing stuff. And then he started bringing on records and then that's it. I just got into it. Then I started singing and I thought, I'm having a bit of that. But what about, like, when, there, there must have, you say about the, being into football, there, there, there must have been a point when you started to attach yourself to something that was going on, like, I mean, probably... Football for, clothes. Yeah, but probably for when you, when you were a teenager, it was like electro and things like that, where you are getting yeah. into, like, hip-hop and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I was into a bit of hip-hop. Not that much. I was just into being a little, I was just into hanging about on the streets, basically. Yeah, but on that... Was a f hooker. <laughs> I was a hooker when I was 15, come on. What about... Was it, do you reckon the turning point was going to see the Stone Roses at the yeah, International? Yeah, so, something happened there, yeah, I think. How old were you then? I was about 17, 16, 17. And what, I mean... I don't know, I just... Something... That was special, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there was, there was just a vibe, there was something... I can't explain it, it was just good, everyone there, you know what I mean? And there was an attitude that yeah. hadn't been seen yeah, and it was just, for ev years. Yeah, everything just looked... But like, I'd never seen it before, you know what I mean? It was the first time I'd ever seen anything like it, and I just come away and I thought, f***ing hell, I want a bit of that, I want to be into that. I could do that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then that was it, really. And then I wanted to join a band, but I never knew that. I thought my mates aren't going to be into it, because they weren't into, really weren't into music. Well, some of them were, but they weren't into my kind of music. I thought, I'm not going to be able to do it with them. At that point, did you find yourself drifting away from those people? No, I was, I just, no, not really, not drifting away, I just, I was always pulling our kid's shirt, going, come on, come on, you join a band, because I knew we could play a guitar, and I thought I could, I knew I could do a bit of singing, and that was it, really. I mean, were Rain any good? Fing sh**, nah, they were top. <laughs> this is, nah, the, the, this is the, the band that you had before? No, I was in them, I was never in them. You weren't in Rain? No, I was a fing, let's get that straight. All right, put I it on never, play. ever in a band called The Rain. What about, um, there's always been an incredible sense of self-belief and I, I would imagine it was there at the beginning because you all knew that something special was happening. Uh, a lot of people do take that for arrogance yeah, and they're well, misreading it. Well, that's, that's what that's another thing, that, that's what me completely off. Because I ain't arrogant, you know what I mean? Arrogance is f***ing rudeness, you know what I mean? That's what arrogance is. It's being rude. But with confident is being. What's wrong with being confident? With that. If you're not confident, then you're a fucking bag of pork scratchings. With that, with that, with that sense of self-belief that you had right at the beginning, you must. There, there was a. Le there must have been a level of dreaming how big things would get. And I would assume that because at that time the Stone Roses were knocking around, you thought it could actually get to that level. Well, of course, now we're sitting here and it's gone way beyond that oh, level. Oh, yeah. Did you ever have that, that belief that it would get to this level? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I knew, yeah, of course. I knew, it, I knew whatever we'd done would be f***ing big, you know what I mean? And it be, would be number one. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm not... I'm it's not, bigger than that now, isn't it? Though? Oh, yeah. Too, no, not number one. I mean, like... The ones, you know what I mean? Right. The ones who were going to do it, the ones who were going to... I knew f***ing that. And now it's come to a sort of um, thing where it's like... Cos this is where my head's at at the moment. Anyway, it's like f***ing rock and roll. It's f***ing got to go... It's got to go somewhere else, you know what I mean? You can write the songs. Yeah. We've got the songs wrote and that, but we've got, we've got to splash a bit of paint on it. Take it somewhere else. Rock and roll's been rock and roll for the last... God knows how long, you know what I mean? I think it's time for the change. I don't know what. I was going to say, what is... I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, but that's what's going to happen. In our, any... That's what's happening in our camp at the moment. Yeah, but... But any... yeah, now is the last kind of commercialised record or whatever it is. I think that we're going to do anyway. I think something's going to... And we're, we're stood there waiting with the songs. Yeah. And I think something's going to come. <laughs>